Edwards, that's my boy. I like Anthony Edwards. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, share the video. Listen, Ant-Man, it wasn't a great idea to call out Kyrie. As Kyrie said after the, talking to Charles Barkley and the crew with Shaq and uh, Kenny and uh, Ernie, I was at home with my family watching the game seven. I heard my name and my ears perked up. He was ready. Like, you know, you know, you know Kyrie was averaging 1.6 points a game in the first part of, of, of the playoffs, and then he had come out and had 13. Like, did he have 19? Yeah, 13 and 19. I think he had, no, he had 13 in the first quarter. He had 13, like, like 24 in the first half, like 30 for the game. So, I love Anthony Edwards. That's why I love Anthony Edwards. I don't care if he gets smoked. I like the challenge. This nigga Anthony Edwards is bringing real basketball back. Like, we ain't gonna criticize Anthony Edwards on, on this channel like that. We're gonna criticize that nigga when it comes like, nigga, he ain't on Coach Brian, Michael Jordan level. Nigga still young, still got some development to But the way he's going for the NBA, making it fun again. You know how Donald Trump say make America great again? He making the NBA competitive and fun again. That's what Anthony was doing. We got to, I don't care. Kyrie Irving, one of the best players of all time. He should have been top 75 player. No doubt. We should have been on that list before. Uh, you're going to put Dave Little on that list, right? So, that's just my opinion. But, Kyrie got slow. We know what it is. You can tell when them old ass niggas off and put Kyrie. Kyrie deserved to be on that. The COVID shot and the, 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 the that bull crap vaccine stuff and Kyrie very aloof with the media. So we understand what Kyrie represent. LeBron understand what he represent. Luka Doncic understand what he represent when he won that championship. The whole world gonna understand what he represent again. And Ant-Man knew what he represent. He taking on the best challenge, you know. Kyrie, the best handles in basketball, the best finisher at his size. Ant-Man said, I want him. And then Kyrie said, come here, let me give it to you. Let me do something. Told that Atlanta Georgia nigga, let me let me get let me get his work. Let me get his work. Get a nigga that work. And eight man ain't run from it. So now this question, should he go at Luca? He tried. And Luca ran right around a nigga too little. Spun on his ass, laid the ball up over the whole defense. Like, I think it'll be a better idea. Because Kyrie gonna move. Luca's slow. Kyrie gonna move, he fast the ball, you might get embarrassed. Even though, even though. I still like I still like him and all. I'm not saying I'm gonna show him now. It's gonna be some nights. You keep playing defense how Anthony was playing. Tough in him. He gonna miss shots. You can't get discouraged by a great player making uh uh great great shots over uh great shots over good defense. Contested hands. Uh he gonna he, you weigh him down. You weigh him down. He had 30 points, he had 24 in first half. He had even though it wasn't because he got shut down, he only had six. It's because Luka got it going. They couldn't stop Luka. I mean, Luka had it going. So they dealing with, I take better offense over better defense any day in, in, in basketball. Better O over better D any day. No Diddy. Because it's so, it's two nuclear, they got two nuclear bombs. And, and, and even if you want to shut those two nuclear bombs down, you want to predicate all five guys on those guys, double teams and triple teams, what you're going to do is you're going to leave P.J. Washington over in the corner. Hardaway going to get over you want to have guys open hitting threes, lob, dunk. That's what they had. Pick their paws. They want to trap them last night. That that drop defense, drop cover. You heard Jaymon Green talking about that last night? Y'all hear me talk about that all the time. Y'all hear me? Uh, that shit is terrible. They played that shit and Luka ate it. Kyrie ate it. Dallas ate it. You can't you, you can't you can't give live dunks up. You got to commit to Kyrie and make them make the layups. But anyway, what Anthony was doing, I think it's fantastic. I think he's doing a great job of being competitive. And that's what you should do. This, this, this reminds you back in the hood. Before we, before we play a game, we pick our team. Oh, I got that nigga. I got him. Oh, you, oh I got him. No, I got him. Nah, but I want him, bro. The nigga getting cooking, I want him. That's what Anthony Edwards was doing. And we got to love it and respect it. If you don't, you want them them do that. When you want the job, you want these weak-ass sportcasters that only care about stats and stuff like that. Don't really care about the feel of the game and how it makes you feel when people want to compete. No dick. But that shit does something. Make you want to go out there and go hoop right. I want to go hoop now. I don't want to go to I want to go hoop. That's what Anthony Edwards made me feel like. What Kyrie made me feel like. But that's my, that's what I feel. Viewers, tell me how y'all feel. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the video. Come to the video.